Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 22nd, 2019. So, hey everyone, we have kind of a bearish look this morning. We got a little futures pushing back. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is on Friday, I suggested that I was planning to take profits ahead of the three-day weekend. And I know that's really, really tough to do, particularly when we see the market racing up into a Friday. But that was the perfect reason to be taking some profits and locking in some of those gains because we do run those risks around those long weekends. Now, I know it, it took me a long time, a long time to figure that out, to figure out um, this idea of not allowing greed to prevent me from taking a profit when the wise decision was to um, reduce some of that risk for the weekend. So as you can see this morning, we're getting a pullback and we've, we've run up here toward this Dow downtrend and um, looking pretty strong here overall, but ran up toward that downtrend and now we're seeing a little bit of pullback in the market. Now, Part of the reason is the IMF chose the three-day weekend to come out with a report suggesting that global uh, global growth may be slowing down, that there is a concern over that. And that's affecting markets around the world this morning. And we're seeing some pullback um, around the world uh, this morning as well. So this morning, this little pullback, not a big deal. Right now, we're looking about 140 150 points down we've bounced between about 130 to 100 or 100 and uh, nearly 200 points down um so far this morning as the futures try to decide where we're going to open keep in mind there are several things that will affect that we've we're in the middle of earnings season and lots of earnings coming out can certainly change uh, this look by the time the market opens and then there's economic data today right after the market opens that could certainly move us around as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. So we have our resistance up here. And here's the good news about this pullback. Any pullback or consolidation, just like we got right here, actually provides us with opportunities for new entries. So if we use this level right here as a level of price support, and you can see we have our trend, a pullback or a consolidation consolidation into this area is not a bad thing. And as a matter of fact, it's a healthy thing. So if we pull back, if we consolidate, if we hold in this area right in here, we should be in really good shape for the opportunity of more upside. Now, this run was pretty, pretty straight up. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this pullback or consolidation be a little bit longer right in this area around that 50 day moving area average could be a little bit longer and that could adjust our trend here a little bit. The more rest, the more consolidation we have here while the bulls continue to mount a defense, if they mount a defense and hold this support level, the stronger this potential rally becomes. So keep an eye on that. We still have great potential here um, to the upside. Just don't get too excited right now um, and just thinking the sky is falling because as of right now, the sky is not falling. There is reason for concern. There is reason for risk. But um, this should have been an expected uh, pullback um, to have occurred after such a strong run up. Let's take a look at the um, SPY. SPY also looking pretty darn good here. And if we look at our trend, we're looking good here in our trend. But let's take a look at our moving averages. We broke above that 50 day moving average. So any rest, any pullback, any consolidation that holds us, I think, above these areas right in here are um, is, is going to be a really good level that we find that price support in here. We allow, let me go to, um, 
remove all these lines, we allow all of our short-term moving averages to move up and find that support by resting or pulling back. So if we can move those up and find that little bit of a moving average squeeze right in, the, in this area from a rest or a pullback, that's exactly what we need. And um, so hopefully we can find those support levels right in here and continue to show strength um, in the market with just a little bit of rest. We want to see those bulls defend. If we start to fail these areas, then we have some major concern. But as long as we can hold in here, we're in pretty good shape. All right, let's take a look at um, the Qs. Qs have been extremely strong, um, actually breaking through their downtrend. And this is something I always look for in a market, breaking of a downtrend moving up holding it as support and then moving on higher that's exactly the pattern i want to see we've bounced right off of this level of price action support right off of our downtrend line looking good and if we look at our moving averages here you can see we're above our 50-day moving average just almost a perfect pattern to be addressing here any kind of rest or pullback so if we pull back into this area i don't see any problem here at all if we pull back all the way down into here we start getting a little bit stressed if we pull down into here but there's no problem with that major problem with that so rest consolidation through that area of, of a pullback is perfectly acceptable and i think the longer we rest or pull back in here the stronger this pattern will become let's take a look at iwm IWM also very, very strong, making this nice move, breaking the downtrend, using it as price support, popping through here, holding it as support, moving on through this next resistance level right here. Now, IWM has been uh, uh, kind of a problematic. Um, it, it led us into this down uh, down move in the market. And right now is showing us signs that it, it could be leading us out of this market. But the fact that we just broke above this level of support we have to watch that because we could easily fail back below that, creating another um, level of resistance to deal with. But we are holding above that 50-day moving average. And once again, this rest consolidation or pullback in this area, as long as we give this time for these shorter term averages to move up here and provide us support to that 50-day moving average, we could still be in real good shape here. So keep an eye on it, but we're sky is definitely not falling here. Let's take Take a look at um, the VIX. Now the VIX um, will likely pop up a little bit this morning and show just a little bit of fear coming into the market. Um, not well if if it starts to get extreme uh, that can be a problem but not a big surprise where we're right in this area where we would expect some kind of support to come here in the vix and a little bit of bounce or a consolidation in here um, not that big a surprise but we don't want to see this get out of hand so if we rally up into here that's perfectly okay but we want to see that resistance right here hold the VIX down. We don't want it to climb up there above the 25 handle and stay up there, or we could have some real trouble here in the market. So let's see if we can pop around in here and dance around and then still fail down uh, to this next support level in the VIX. Keep an eye on it. Um, not a major concern here, uh, but certainly one that we want to watch uh, moving forward and you know honestly it's very very typical after a three-day weekend we have news events the market's reacting to that to uh to see uh volatility right after um, a long weekend so pretty typical price action um, unfortunately it happens to be bearish on on uh, this day but pretty typical price action around those three-day weekends so kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at t2122 t2122 that four week new high new low ratio and you can see this has been my concern for some time that we are very elevated here we need a rest we need a pullback um just going straight up and as a matter of fact all of 
2017, that just major market in 2017, we never saw T21, 22 at this level. So a rest, a pullback uh, or a pullback is um, certainly acceptable. And we just want to see that ease off a little bit. We don't, that doesn't necessarily mean that we need some kind of uh, major bearish action or a um, substantial pullback. We just need some rest in the market. So a nice long consolidation can move us right back down into here as long as we rest. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on this. And right now it's just has been my concern for a while. Heading into that three-day weekend, um, you know, uh, was a real clear indicator for me to start taking some profits and cleaning up uh, positions so that I didn't suffer the risk of the pullback that was um, high potential uh, this morning. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Oh, wrong chart. Our economic calendar for today, we have... Um, existing home sales this morning. That's our biggest report on the calendar today. So this one definitely could move the market around a little bit um, at 10 a.m. Eastern. You'll want to keep an eye on that. And then we have uh, nothing more than, you know, bond auctions and, and things after that. So really not much um, other than this right here to move the market around today on that economic calendar. So kind of keep an eye on those existing home sales numbers. We have about 81 companies reporting earnings today with a significant number of potential market moving stocks that could move us around. So you'll want to keep an eye on that um, as those reports come out. Remember, even though that we're getting this bearish price action uh, this morning, keep in mind it's what's really going to be telling for our market is if the uh, earnings reports continue to come out positive. If they can continue to come out positive, showing you know good signs that companies are uh, meeting or beating expectations and can support current prices, we could be uh, in great shape. But if they start reporting poor results, um, that could certainly add to the global growth concerns and we could see the market um, uh, obviously react negatively to that. So lots of reports coming out today. Um, Halliburton reporting this morning. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like it's at this point moving down but I don't see that that report has yet come out um, a lot of the banking um, companies uh, things like that will be reporting today so we'll just have to kind of um, you know stay on our toes kind of keep an eye on what's going on here um, uh, in the market this morning and watching for those um, reports so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. You guys have been awesome in supporting this channel. Thank you so much for those of you who do take the time. Um, I truly appreciate that. Let's take a look at a few charts that I think are setting up for a potential trade and we'll want to kind of keep an eye on them. Um, first off, um, I think we have some really good looking charts um, in some of the major uh, some of the major stocks like Home Depot. Home Depot breaking its downtrend here, starting to show signs of rally, moving up in a nice pattern. Um, this pullback here to try and hold on to price support was a good move. And then you can see we've pushed on up. If this can move through this resistance level, hold up in here, maybe rest, consolidate a little more. Um, I think there's an opportunity here in Home Depot. So maybe keep an eye on that chart. Um, definitely one for the list. Um, I've been watching uh, Roku 
closely roku a really nice pattern here as you can see breaking its downtrend moving up consolidating over toward trend watching this in here for a potential entry signal you can see this morning it is pulling back slightly but nothing wrong here and by the way this trend may not be set yet we have to wait have to wait for that signal in here to show us when roku is ready to go up but this is just another one of those uh patterns where we break above that 50-day moving average we're starting to see that moving average squeeze set up just give this some time there um there is good potential um opportunity um in that stock and we're seeing that in a lot of different places um if you take a look at like mu mu hasn't quite made this transition if i if i pull this downtrend line you can see moving this down that has not broken its downtrend and if we take a look at our moving averages we're right there at that 50-day moving average however if this rests right in here or is able to go ahead and follow through pop out of there hold this area as support we may finally catch that trend here in mu to start moving this higher it looks pretty good um, at the moment but you know anything can happen um, as we move along through the day um, any of the um any of the marijuana stocks uh, are looking strong. CGC has had a tremendous run uh, breaking through back above this um, uptrend and any rest consolidation pullback could easily set up an opportunity here for a trade so you might keep an eye on that uh, CRON another stock that actually broke through resistance here on Friday um, looking really good any rest pullback consolidation move over toward this trend could certainly set up an opportunity um, for CRON so lots and lots of really good stocks out there um, with good potential patterns that we want to keep an eye on um, GILD another there's that downtrend break holding itself up nice little consolidation moving over toward trend starting to show some buyers in here and once again same pattern breaking above that 50-day moving average our moving averages coming up a shorter term to uh, provide uh, a potential level of support so lots and lots of good charts to be watching put on the watch list um, this market pullback may not hurt as much at all um, as long as the those bulls come in and defend the support levels. Everyone have an awesome day. I wish you great success. And as always, never give up on yourself. The work, the effort it takes to be successful in trading is definitely worth it. If there's something we can do to help, uh, please let us know. We'd love to uh, talk with you and see if we can help you improve your trading. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all very soon, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.